about the most wonderful thing that ever happened to you. <laughs> I don't know what that would be. I, I have lived a fairly blessed life. I guess one of the most wonderful things that ever happened to me happened before I ever knew it was happening, and that's when my dad said, yeah, you're not going to cut her leg off. And I said, much later, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't know it was happening at the time, but I've been eternally grateful for having two legs and mm -hmm. the, for the rest of my experience. So that was probably the most wonderful thing, but the rest of it has all been offshoots from that. I learned how to play ball because I had a bad leg and I needed to exercise. And then from playing ball, I learned how to be a team player. And then from being a team player, I learned how to get along at work. And then from getting along at work, I learned how to be the boss. And along the way in learning to be the boss, I learned you don't fire someone till their shift's over or otherwise you have to do their job. <laughs> and I learned that in the bowling center when I had to scrub up the settee areas because I made the fired the kid that was supposed to do it before his shift was over. <laughs> Added an additional hour to my day that day. So anyway, that's it. Thank you. Oops. Talk about a frustrating experience that you had with a car. Well, there's more than one. Um, I don't know. I like my big old Lincoln Town car, and I had fun with it because I'd go right and look for some other old lady, and I found one little old lady driving a, a Chrysler that was as old as my car, and I thought that was pretty funny. But frustrating, I don't, I don't, oh well, I volunteered to take some pe people at church to another church member that was having a wedding on the plaza. So we got out there and we paid ten dollars and parked the darn thing and we were at the wrong place. So we lost our ten dollars and got the car back in about a half hour. And we got in and started going up the street and guess what? The town car has one belt that runs everything in the car. It broke in the middle of the, all this five o'clock traffic on the on the uh, at the plaza and embarrassed and I got these two little ladies sitting in the back scared to death. With, we're out in the middle of traffic and stuck. So we little messed around with it and somebody pushed and we got over to the side. We called down to the wedding and got Melissa, who was already there, said, you gotta come help us. We're stuck out here in the car and we'll run. So that was uh, really pretty frustrating because these two ladies, they didn't say a word, but they, they both sat down there and they, they both got to bring their phones. They couldn't call anybody to come get them. <laughs> but it was, it was pretty, pretty uh, embarrassing and frustrating, but as it turned out, Melissa brought John, the, they piled in the uh, tow truck, they hooked up the car, and away they went. And Melissa then took the rest of us back to the wedding, uh, the three red ladies, and it was kind of, it was frustrating and very embarrassing. Aww. But we got to see the wedding at a real fancy nice place, it was a Tucker wedding. It was fun. Embarrassing. Oh, this one's perfect. Kind of. What is your favorite animal and tell why? Oh my goodness. Um, well, I love all animals except for mosquitoes and ticks, but those aren't really animals, so they don't count. But, um, uh, some of my favorites, um, definitely cats and dogs and horses and bunnies. <laughs> um, pretty much all cats, like even big cats. Um, yeah, pretty much all animals. I I think if I was going to look at a catalog of all animals, I'd be able to pick like 100 that I love equally. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I think I love all of them, and they're all unique and special and super amazing. So. What was the best birthday you ever had, and why? Ooh, that's kind of hard. I've, I haven't one, had too many birthdays. The one where you ate a bunch of pizza and went upstairs and fell asleep. Yeah, there was, that was probably when I was like eight or nine or something, and I, I had a fever. And I ate, I came down, and everyone was down here supposed to be celebrating my birthday, and I ate. <laughs> I came down and ate like five slices of pizza, and then I went upstairs and took a nap. <laughs> um, but that probably wasn't the best birthday. I'm trying to think, what did we do just last year for my birthday? Nothing? 
It's <laughs> possible because Grandma For was. Yeah, years. Grandma was gone. I missed mm. up two years. I'm. I don't know. Every year we never go out and do a lot. We just have like a little family party, and I think it's always pretty nice. Um, so I don't know. I'd say always my birthday's just a good family time. I am. Are you? Yes. What do family members do that makes you happy? Describe a happy moment. Well, I have a lot of happy moments due to my family members because my family members do a lot of things for me and for my children and we do a lot of things for each other and I have a happy moment every Sunday at about one o'clock when we sit down and eat lunch together and that is a super happy time except for today of course but <laughs> and why, I mean it's a happy time why is I just today didn't different? I just didn't get to eat today but <laughs> it is still a happy time <laughs> and uh, we always just have such a good time so I would say pretty much we don't have very many unhappy moments uh, among family members so it's awesome. 